What's going on guys? Welcome back to another New World Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get all of the refining armor without actually farming it or buying it yourself. It is possible. So when I started the fresh servers a few weeks ago, I was wondering why people were buying $20,000 smelting pieces off me. It made no sense. We can literally get them for free yourself. I've made an absolute killing selling some of this stuff. And if you look at my inventory, I have tanning gear. I have a full set of stone cutting gear. I have uh, one piece of weaving gear. I got all of this for free. I didn't buy it or I didn't farm the particular items themselves. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And I also sold three pieces of the smelting gear for around about 20,000 gold each. So around about 60k I made just there. And I'm going to go and get my own free set soon. So I'm going to explain to you exactly how this works. So there is one place that you can get these... Um, things from and they're called aptitude boxes so if you don't know for example i'll show you in the um in here there's these things called aptitude boxes you see i'm at aptitude level 63 so once you hit 200 you get these boxes and you can i uh, will go into here actually into my trade skills and you'll see that our smelting is at 63 so that means that i've i'm 263 so I've had heaps and heaps of crates. And what happens is inside these crates, you have a chance of getting a smelting pattern. And that pattern can then be crafted into a piece of smelting gear. It can be stone cutting, it can be um, the weaving one or whatever. Now you can actually get these boxes for free. What you can do is you can calculate how much it's going to cost you in materials, and then you can resell the refined materials. So let's do this for, uh, let's take this smelting for example. It's probably going to be the easiest one, but just so you can see it, I'm actually doing this. I'm not talking out my ass. We have weaving at 19. I got one piece um, so far. Stone cutting at 30. I got four pieces from stone cutting at, th cutting at 30. I got very lucky and I did buy my last piece just because I needed it at the time. That was very important. And then we have leather working, 47. I have three pieces from 47. From smelting, I've had four pieces. I sold three. I gave one to my friend. So what you want to do is you want to go onto your marketplace and you want to see, for example, how much aura calcum ingots are going to cost you to create, uh, to craft. So if we go to refined resources, and I'll show you a website you can use soon to actually do this. And we go to ingots and we go to aura calcum ingots. They are selling for 12 gold right now. And remember, you get lots of freebies from the chest as well. So let's say aura calcum ingots, 12 gold. Now let's go back and let's see what cinnabar costs because we get a lot of cinnabar from these crates as well. So we're going to get these. 11 is pretty good. And then tolvum. This is what we're going to get from the crates. So like gem crates, uh, stone cutting, you'll get gems and things like that. 12 gold. So all we need to do is make sure that we can sell orichalcum ingots for 12 or even less. And anything over that is a bonus. So all you need to do is figure out how much it's going to cost you to craft aura calcum ingots. And then, and what I would recommend you do is you go into the marketplace before you go to bed or whatever you do, or you can go get the materials for yourself. And what you do is you go and put in buy orders. Okay, you go and put in buy orders before you go to bed. Now I have not lost any money doing this. In fact, I've either come out even or I've actually made a profit. One of the best ones is actually stone cutting because what happens is in stone cutting, you get uncut gems that you can sell. So that's a very, very good one as well. And then leather working, you can go ahead and you can get the um, scar hide and smolder hide. Now, I did get one piece from woodworking as well, which I did sell on the marketplace because I don't really do much woodworking. As you can see, I do smelting and stone cutting the most and then leather working. All right, guys, so this is the website you use to actually calculate the cost, profits, and all that sort of stuff. But first of all, these are the aptitude boxes that I'm talking about. And you can get the various different types of things that you do. Now, what happens is inside the tier three boxes, so let's go tier three jewelry cutting, for example, tier three, these um, purple ones here, you're going to get what are called patterns and you can use those patterns at the armory uh, where you craft your armor pieces to get a specific piece a hat pants um, gloves footwear or a chest piece and what and you get these inside these chests so just look out for the patterns now you can't sell the patterns but you can sell the crafted end product so if you don't know um, if you did like a lot of people actually surprisingly don't know that you can get the patterns from these boxes and essentially you can go and craft them for free now 
What I do want to uh, mention is remember when you're crafting, you actually get a lot of stuff, a bonus percentage for free, right? So for so let's go crafting calculators, for example, we'll take smelting or whatever, but you go ahead and you get this stuff for free. Like, um, like for example, like if you go and craft steel ingots, usually you get like 30, 40, 50, or even a hundred um, percent for free. I can't remember what it is, but there's a bonus. So we're going to go to um, Orocalcum ingots right here. And what it, what you can do is we're going to put the listing up for one day. Let's say we've got, I don't know, 500. And we're going to sell them for, say, I don't know. Let's just say our, our, our price is usually much more higher on our server. So I'm going to say 19. They've just been really bad lately. Now, we can't. I don't think we can. Oh, yes, we can. And then you, you pick your server. You go import prices. Okay. And... What you want to do is you want to put in your iron ore price. Well, what you, you can put in what you paid, so you can change this. Your Oracalcum ore price and your star metal ore. And then your, um, we don't need to use aged wood. We're going to use green wood for our um, charcoal. And then, oh, I see. So actually, let's take out green wood real quick. Let's just say that you use charcoal because I just buy charcoal. So you just, you just have up what you're going to be buying, okay? So we have... Um, Sand flux, uh, uh, obsidian flux that hasn't got in there. I'll put 0 0.12 is usually what ours is. So 0 0.12, that's how much it's going to cost me to buy it. Um, iron ore, and then orocalcum ore, and then star metal ore, and then charcoal. And then we don't need to do ingots because we're not buying ingots. Okay. You just put in the materials that you're buying and then you need to go up here and put in a few things. So our trade level will just say 200. And then you can put in whether you have the smelting gear or not yourself. And then you put in the taxes. Okay, so we're just going to put in zero taxes for now, but you can go through and do all of that. And then you go calculate. And it's going to say it's going to cost me 9,000 gold. Okay, and we are going to, it's going to be cost per item. And we're actually going to make 300 gold profit based off that price. Okay, so that's how it works. But the most important thing is to make sure that you don't put in the price of ingots because we're not buying ingots. Don't put in aged wood, green wood, or iron wood because we're not buying that stuff. All you, all you do is you put in the price of what you are buying. Okay, that's all you put the price in, and then you and then you put in your skills at two hundred. And let's just say we've got smelting gear, two pieces of smelting gear. Calculate. We're going to make one thousand gold. And you're going to get those aptitude boxes for free. Honestly, guys, this is how the big whales, like people like me, like we have lots of gold. So I'm going in and I'm buying like, like today, I think I bought like, I was doing leathering. I bought like 70,000 raw hides at one time. And then I bought like 50,000 thick, thick hides and a bunch of iron hides. I bought out the entire market because I know that I'm going to get so many rewards, whether it be for free or I make a profit, whatever but I'm going to get a lot of rewards from those boxes, okay? So this is the website that you can use. It's called Gaming Tools or something. Go and check it out. Very simple to use. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you this method because it is a very, very good method. And there's so many bonuses to actually doing this. Like you get so much um, Azoth as well from doing it. You get refining materials. You're pretty much always going to be in profit doing this method to get your refining gear. I'll see you guys in the next video.